Hello everyone, this is Sispawn, and welcome back to my Romance Directum 2.5 Pontus Let's Play. This is episode 4, and uh, yeah, let's get down to it. I ended last episode off taking Tarsus, and we were going to continue down here towards Antioch. First things though, let's check my agents, they've moved. And now it is the end of my turn here, basically, but I did want to do one thing. Uh, first of all, start the script. And then... I want to get another general started training for Tarsus, and then more importantly for Antioch. So uh, we'll go ahead and start one of those. Actually, yeah. Start one there, and one here. And I'm going to go ahead and check my family tree. Uh, let's see, he should be coming of age, if not next turn, a turn or two after that at most. And he will be in a couple of years, so, yeah. This guy's still about, oh, 20 turns off, maybe, give or take a turn. So yeah, we'll be good making generals for the moment. And, uh... Don't think there's much else to do. Let's go ahead and move this army a little further down and end the turn. Leaving the army. Now, the only thing I'm worried about with taking Antioch, even though I really want it, is it might trigger Sel ooh, Selicid, um relief armies that are scripted. And if that happens, I will be facing large, well-upgraded, experienced stacks here on a regular basis. And that doesn't sound particularly appealing, especially since I'm so early in the campaign. I'm still tempted, though. I mean, I could always back out if that turned out to be the case, but... They want a ceasefire. And I'm fairly certain I can get some money out of them, which would be handy, but at the same time... That would just be one short-term thing, and they'd probably just betray me again sooner rather than later. Whereas, taking Antioch would provide me a steady flow of income once I build it up. And they're probably only asking because they're having a hard time with the Ptolemies and whoever else they're at war with, so... There's a good chance that I could do this and come out better for it. I'm going to go ahead and decline their offer for the moment. And, um, we'll see how things look after I take Antioch. I really wish I had a spy down there right now. I probably shouldn't have wasted the one I made up in Amasia. Oh, well. Okay. Very good. We're going to go ahead and take him. Lotus of the Mastress. Drill Master. Family member. Greek aristocrat, and he's a Phoebian. Let's do it. I need the generals. They help me make money. And keep cities happy. And a coming of age all on the same turn. Sweet. He's... We're not going to move him yet. If I don't need him, then I'll send him up to uh, Mesia to kind of train up, but... For now, we'll wait and see. Ooh, I'm going to do a lot of building here. It's not a lot of money. Hopefully we can rectify that situation soon. All these troops are expensive. Alright. We got to move on there. And we have some solutions blocking our progress, but... We'll deal with them. They're blocking the river, but we have superior troops, so not super worried. My Lord, or dead. Huh, I guess Hardware. they can't make it in one turn. Out of move, My general have must must have some trait that increases his um marching capabilities. Ooh, he does certainly have some good economic traits. I might have to leave him in charge of Antioch when we capture it. 
I don't see anything talking about increased marching rate, but who knows. Yes, now... Yes, we are going to build an amazing since that's my capital. That's always priority number one unless somewhere else is about to revolt. And we're going to improve the roads there. Tarsus has a couple things queued. And Trapezus. Okay, Trapezus and Mazaka are my next. Okay, we're going to go ahead and build that there. And... Get some... Get a blacksmith here. Really quickly, I'm gonna reorganize this just to make it look nice. Alright, Amasia should be pretty darn well guarded if anyone attacks it. And... Uh, let's see if I can't get my spy up to scout out the area for me. We can. Moving. Now it looks like it is indeed vulnerable, so if I take this army out here, I should have a straight shot to Antioch. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick save for the battle. And let's get right down to it. Now, one moment. Yeah, I don't have music muted, it's just that same glitch. Ever since the mod was released, a lot of the Eastern factions don't have their uh, music play on the campaign map. It's really unfortunate because I love the music in this mod. Or at least they will when you first load it, but after that first time they don't keep playing it. Now... They're out of the way. You know, I don't think that'll take too much of my movement points. I'm going to go ahead and finish them before taking any off. Yeah, only two heavy infantry and the rest I can just... I'll skirmish I can chase down with cavalry. This should be a simple and easy battle here. I'll probably actually just uh, cut away and come back to you when it starts and we'll hit the good point. Alright, this is my army deployment. I'm going to go ahead and start this battle up. And I will... Oh yeah, I guess I'll show it to you really quickly, but I'm just going to cut away and come back to you once uh, we've well, pretty much started engaging the enemy. Alright, now we're pretty close to the enemy, and they are sending some of their skirmish units in. So I'm going to go ahead and clean those up while the rest of my army moves into position. No reason to waste javelins on these guys. It would be completely wasted. Now their archers are already starting to get a few kills, but that shouldn't last too long. Go ahead and run the rest of my army up here. And these egg hunters die already routing. Now I left the um, green outline with the green arrows and the uh, banners on. I know some people like to play with them off. I've done it before and it's definitely interesting, so if you'd like to see it that way, let me know. I'll consider changing it. Oh, uh, with my cavalry stationary here. Let's go ahead and move them into the archers here. Just about cleaned up these skirmishers here. And their infantry shouldn't last too long. Great gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemies' hearts. Gonna 
have my light cavalry worry about chasing down the routers while the heavy cavalry and my general takes care of these guys. Wow. A couple of volleys of javelins and they routed without even me having to charge them. That's handy. And yeah, that's already the end of the battle here, so I'll just back to you with the results screen. Alrighty. And the results are going to be pretty straightforward. Yeah, it took a few losses mainly just from archer fire. But uh, nothing too big. So yeah, clear victory and Antioch should be ours for the taking. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and grab this army. Oh, no way. It did move it out of range. Well, we're going to move it right here to the edge. We're not going to go into the enemy territory because I don't want to trigger a relief army. We're going to go ahead and build a tower there that did nothing at all. But we're going to go ahead and keep the spy here just to keep an eye on this. Hopefully it'll still be on garrison, but uh, we'll see. That'll be a super easy battle. And I don't think I need to send these guys down here for the moment. So we're going to play it smart and keep them in the area. I might even move them to take Tavium, but I don't want to overextend here. So, I'll think about it. I don't really have any money to spend. I do need to move my diplomats. Can I be of service? Talk to the Spartans yes, here. Lord. I shall speak with them at And we'll go ahead and get trade rights and see if we can get map information. Huh. Maybe we need to offer some money. Grease the wheels a little bit. Nope. Whatever. Not like they probably have more than two yes, territories Lord. anyways, yeah. But we'll stay here to try to get trade rights next turn, so... We'll move on after that. Oh, it just feels so empty without that music in the background, but maybe that's just me. Okay. Yeah, for the moment I'm not going to go after Tavion here. But, uh, let's end the turn. Okay. Seriously? They got a relief army from losing Tarsus? That's plain ridiculous. Oh my gosh. That's not even one of the like their major settlements. That's nuts. I hate these armies. Especially when they come out at random times like this. They lost one city. Whatever. There's no point in even fighting that. They didn't move, so I'll probably use my army up at Mazika to take care of that while my other army continues on towards Antioch. But I really hope those don't just keep spawning here forever. That would ruin the game for me. I mean, I really wish they could have made it like a one or two off kind of thing where if you kept it for enough turns they wouldn't keep spawning there and I think that does happen but I mean I don't know if you have to take a certain number of settlements away from it or anything I'm not sure I think I know this after playing this since it came out but I don't okay before I even worry about Antioch I do want to take care of this army so That'll pretty much be our priority. First of all, though, we'll go to Satala. And it's ready to increase. Uh, I really need more money. Badly. I'm not even making 10k a turn right now. Damn. Okay. Well, at least they retreated to here. That's where I wanted them to go anyways, but they're much smaller than intended. Can the general at least make it down there? Yeah, he can. Good. Er. Yep, he can still make it. 
There we go. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick save here. Prepare for battle. Yep, this is gonna be fun. But hey, you know what? Whatever. We'll kill him. And I do good. I do have the Invisidian skirmishers to use against those elephants. My thoroughfare should do okay as well. All right, I will see you on the battle map. Well guys, the battle crashed, and so, yeah, that's why there's been a delay in this episode coming out. This is, I'm actually recording this a few days after because I was a little frustrated at this point. Not only did it crash, but it turns out these um, Indian elephants that are in this army are just as invincible as the cataphracts are. They are... Bug. Well, not bugged, but they're completely unbalanced. It's been acknowledged by the Roman Serectum team. Going to be fixing the next patch. I went ahead and just, in the intervening time between the battle crashing and recording this now, I went ahead and fixed their stats back to what they were basically in the uh, previous patch. So we will fight this battle, and um, hopefully it'll go better because the Invincible Elephants pretty decisively ended up... Uh, crushing me last time I tried this, so I think I was using this army here, but um, yeah, it looks like this is the one I was using, but we're going to go ahead and try to refight this battle here, and then we're going to take Antioch. Uh, you know what, it was actually a pretty darn difficult battle when I did it last time, so it may delay Antioch for us, but... I'm gonna try being smart with this and bringing reinforcements with me here. And I am gonna let the AI control them. Uh, I might lose some people, even in general, but I just really want to overpower these guys and I need maximum amount of troops possible on the battlefield to do that. So, uh, yeah, give me. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start this. And hopefully my frame rate works just fine. I'm actually gonna keep it up so I can keep an eye on it here. And if it gets too bad, I will try lowering some graphic options, and we'll see if that helps. But, um, it shouldn't be too bad. I've done our battles of this size, just not with fraps running, I guess, too often. But, um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> if this does mess up, worse come to worse, I just re-re-record. But, hey, that's part of Let's Play. <sighs> oh, and another reason why this is a couple days out later than I intended is, first of all, I was busy with work, but then um, I discovered the wonderful world of Minecraft over the last couple days, so that's sucked up a good bit of my time here. And it is looking slightly laggy, so I'm just going to go ahead and lower the graphic detail for this battle here. I usually don't like doing that, but it's not that big of a deal if it uh, keeps it running better. And um, I don't want to mess anything up here, so I'm probably not going to just start clicking too much on this. I know for sure it's terrible to take off unit shaders. You'll probably get a crash. Um, lower that to oh, just medium, please. And we'll see how this runs. Give it a second to render here. <sighs> I'm definitely ready to get back in the swing of things. Um, besides a multiplayer battle in the Roma Directum August uh, multiplayer tournament, this is the first Rome Total War I've played in about four or five days, so... Fun stuff. Go ahead and set these guys up here. Anyways, I'll get back to you when the army is set up. Alright, all my troops are set up here, and let's start the battle. Your reinforcements have arrived! This is hopeful news indeed! Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're going to set up right over here. This is more or less where they lined up in the previous battle, so... We'll start heading that way.
I'm going to go ahead and triple speed for the moment. Looks like my army is coming in over to my left, my reinforcements. So we might try to engage before they get here, hopefully, so we can prevent my general from suiciding, as the AI is wont to do. And they're running over here, so that's no big deal. You know what, I'll get back to you when we're a little closer to engaging the enemy here. Alright, it looks like the battle is fairly close to getting underway. They're starting to launch some artillery at me. I forgot they had that. And their archers are moving up here into range. So, yeah. Our reinforcements are fairly close in behind us here. We're just going to keep marching in. And one of the um, things that I did not do very well when I fought this battle the first time was I let them engage me with a lot of their, or er, only a fraction of their infantry while I'm um, tying all mine up, so I really want to get all my infantry, frontline infantry engaged with theirs really quickly. So we'll see how this works here. Uh, This may or may not work out very well, but um, it didn't work well not doing it last time, so we're going to try this. Okay, so this kind of messed my formation up, but not the end of the world. Get my general up here pretty quickly for morale support. And start working on their ladder infantry with my archers. Now, I really want to get a good time to come in and get these catapults, otherwise they'll start raining death down on me. I'm probably going to try to sneak my light cavalry around the flank here. see what I can do there. I'm kind of being passive on this point because these elephants over here, but I am going to push up a little bit, see if we can't move them back. I right, gotta switch to our swords here. Alright, at the very least, eh, this artillery isn't really doing much, so I'm going to try to start weakening this flank here with javelins from the rear. I'm going to get my Thurifori and uh, skirmishers over here ready to repel the elephants. Get my cavalry lined up behind them. Now my center is having kind of a rough time of it, but let's see if we can't get him some help here pretty quickly. We should be able to decimate these Thrakatai here pretty quickly. Now my, yeah, my center here is getting thrashed by all these phalanxes. See if we can't break these guys. I don't really have any heavy infantry over, or heavy cavalry over here to do it, but looks like one or two more charges and we might get them. Fortunately, the uh, catapults switched to uh, stone projectiles, so it's not being nearly as effective as it could have. All right, I am going to go ahead and my reinforcements are here. Good timing. Oh. They finally decided to bring in some reserves over here. That's alright, I have more than enough reserves of my own now. 
Alright, I am going to start engaging here since I have these extra troops. And hopefully I'll be able to use this opportunity to take out the elephants. And I'm going to start hitting the uh, elephants with flaming arrows as well. Alrighty, this is messy, but... Okay, crap. Do not let them charge into... <sighs> I hate how Thurifori charges after throwing their damn javelins. Alright, we should be getting some point-blank javelins into them here. Trying to back my Scythians up a little bit, that way they don't get... Ah, oh, they routed. Damn those elephants, man. Try to take out the general here, see if we can't get him morale. Ooh, sweet, alright, we've got him to run rampant. We can actually do that now that they're not invincible, that's handy. Now if my reinforcements would just send some troops right here, that'd be fantastic. Alright, I really need to take out these catapults in a second. First, I want to get some more javelins in the back there. Get my cavalry out of the way of these elephants here. There he is. I'm trying to finish off this general here. Good, we've got these guys routing, so we'll bring in some reinforcements over this way. We're gonna go ahead and take out the catapults here. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! And finish these Cretans off. And then we'll rush into the backs over here. You know what? This thrashed my army up a little bit, but this is going way better than it did the first time, believe it or not. We'll get a good rear charging over here. Yeah, this battle's winding down. Start just chasing down these troops with my light cav here. We can trigger some kind of mass right over here. That'll pretty much be the end of the battle. Alrighty. So, they haven't technically ended the battle yet, but as soon as these people stop fighting to death, it'll be over. So, uh, yeah. I would just cut away, but it's not going to the end battle screen, so I'm not going to yet. As soon as it does, I'll uh, spare you the cleanup and just come back to the results. Looks like we're pretty darn close. Do my freaking reinforcements have a catapult they're shooting over here? Yes, they do. Oh, we took more damage from these ones than I did from the enemies.
Oh yeah, they're landing right in the middle of all our troops. Oh yeah, it's so stupid. Jeez. I mean, fortunately they're not shooting flaming projectiles, but still. Alright, I'll see you at the end screen here. Alright, looks like it's over here. Let's see how it turned out. Okay, yeah, I lost a good bit of men, but you know what? Those stupid relief armies get ridiculous, so it was worth taking it out. Hopefully once we take Antioch, it stops spawning them down there. Antioch will at least have stone walls to defend itself with. Whereas Tarsus definitely does not. But we'll see how long those uh, armies keep popping up. Anyways, yeah, see you on the campaign map. Alright, looks like both my armies have seen better days, but my army down here is in fairly decent shape still and has plenty of juice to reach Antioch. Uh, you kidding me? I don't even have room to get out of here. Please? Oh my gosh, now they're going to get a garrison. This is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and do some emergency merging. That's not how I planned it. I should have just waited till the next turn. Oh, we can pray, but I pretty much guarantee Antioch's going to spawn a, uh, a relief army. Moving into position. Uh, I don't see too many reinforcements in the area, but um, we'll see what happens. As far as everything else goes, I think we're more or less ready. My lord. Um, trade rights. I remember that much. They weren't really interested in anything else, but that's their deal. Yes, master. Yes, my lord. Alright, well, let's go ahead and save, and end the turn, and see what happens next. <laughs> Aha, Antioch did not spawn. I garrison they just made another unit of Perjumoy Calvary. Interesting. Well, I am definitely going to pounce on this opportunity. I'm not even going to bother going to the battle map as this is all they have. It'd be a complete waste of time and I'd take more casualties on their towers than I would actually on uh, the cavalry, so yeah. A little over 100 losses, but that's worth it for Antioch. It's got 20k for looting it. Fantastic. Go ahead and repair the walls. And right away, I would like to start making this a, a troop training center. At least as long as I can before I have to start worrying about public order and everything. But first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these the successor barracks, as if the cells do recapture, I don't want them to be able to train troops right away. I don't think there's anything else I need to kill, but we'll go ahead and start making a garrison fort here. These Palmyrans are a little bit better than the uh, levy, so we'll go ahead and make about three of them, and Mazika will provide all the light infantry for it as well as the cavalry. We'll just give it a unit of Zeist for a cav and Trojamoy. And then we actually have the money to uh, build thanks to conquering Antioch, so let's do so. Mazika. What do you want, Mazika? 
going to give you a regional focus. Tarsus, you get Rhodes. And that looks like everywhere is building for the moment. Now I'm going to do one thing here. We're going to walk down this way with my general very slowly. Finger on the backspace button. Alright, nothing over here that's going to mess with us. And make a tower. Did nothing, so let's go down here. Try again. That was a little better. Let's go ahead and send them back. And then Maz is going to do the same thing here. Send this guy down here a little bit. I'll just try to basically keep my territory scouted out where possible. Alright, it's right on the border, good. Ooh, it looks like the uh, Seleucids own this city down here. Apamea, so we'll capture that as well. Oh, apparently I can't build a tower there for some reason. Or here. Why not? Am I too close to that village or what? Even too close to that diplomat. Either way. <clears throat> now that's revealed. Send them back up here. I'm going to go ahead and try building a second spy again. I'm going to be a little more cautious with them for the moment. Just have them kind of explore the situation around me. Amasia's garrison is still just fine. You know what, we're actually going to make one more phalangite here. Mazka's going to make one more thorophore. I want it to be well guarded. I don't want to lose it. <sighs> Not going to have the biggest garrison ever, but it should be fairly strong. Nice, and our finances are looking pretty good here. Might be a little stinted due to the cash and flow from sacking it, but we'll see how, what it ends up actually being here. So yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to end the video here. Expect episode 5 much quicker than episode 4 came out, assuming there's no te technical difficulties, and um, I'm probably actually going to start uploading these in just 480p rather than doing high def, because my internet is really not very good, and it takes 8 or 9 hours to upload a 30, 40 minute episode to YouTube and I really don't have that window to work with every day so this should help keep me um, uploading on a more regular basis. So yeah, uh, we'll see how it works out. If it gets too bad, I might just go ahead and bite the bullet and keep doing high def, but I really don't think 480 is going to be that bad. Sorry for any of you that do watch it in high definition, but uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.